Lydia, thank you so much for agreeing to share with me your experience on Cura Romana. Um, let's start from the beginning. Were you on uh, a Cura Romana program online, or did you do this from the book, or how did it work? Um, I've done the Cura Romana online because I felt that I, although I understood the principle, I didn't have the knowledge to do I it understand. on my own. Great stuff. Okay. And so now, this is something that you can't do on your own. Yeah, I, I, I think so. A lot of people do, and they do it pretty successfully, but you really need that day-by-day -day guidance in order to uh, actually be able to just pay attention to what you're doing and let go of the anxiety, because often people have a lot of anxiety. Now, how much weight did you lose, uh, uh, Lydia? Um, after the 24, the, during the 24 day, I, I think I've, I've lost six kilos or just over six kilos, mm -hmm. um, which is a stone here, like 20, 13, 13, 14 pounds, actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. However, after, um, um, during the, uh, um, testing period yep. yeah, and consolidation after that, um, because I've, I've changed dramatically the way I've been eating, I've lost an extra four kilos. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah, um, I can't uh, stress enough how much uh, my husband's been uh, depressed about the amount of um, money I spent on iHerb buying my uh, <laughs> almond oil and coconut <laughs> oil and um, supplements, uh, um, food state supplements and all of that. So, yeah. Good they're, fun for me, not that much for him. Uh, they're very important, and I hope your husband's yeah. health will be transformed too. Um, tell me a little about your experience with Cura Romana. Um, what brought you to doing the program in the first place? Well, I think I already bought, it, bought the idea before I even came across it. Mm -hmm. I was already convinced that what's out there doesn't work. Because I've tried them, not all of them, but I've I've tried a lot, and everything is pretty much the same. The sky is blue, the sea is green, and that's that's pretty much everywhere. So the um, information on all the uh, weight loss websites or uh, NHS and health care or whatever websites they were all about, eat less, exercise more. Um, I've been in the gym five days a week doing an hour, an hour and a half, um, running, rowing, stepping, um, doing weights. So I was doing cardio and resistance and um, strength. And um, I was living on 1,000, 1,200 calories a day, mainly made out of um, vegetables, uh, some meat and some carbs. I wasn't eating much carbs anyway, but I did have the slice of um, wholemeal bread in the morning and a bowl of porridge um, another day, not not all in the same day. Mm -hmm. But I, I did have carbs in my diet. So I, I, it just didn't make sense to me if I'm already exercising and I'm eating less, then the theory must be wrong. So... Um, I was searching for answers for years and years and years. And I came across this lady to, at a um, women's seminar. And she was talking about female hormones mm -hmm. and about the menses and what does mean for a woman and how her body changes and how everything is changed with that. Uh, explaining mood swings and food um, cravings and stuff like that. And I thought... Maybe it's hormones which are tipping me over the edge. Well, obviously, it was insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. um, and she said to me, because uh, I went to her and I said, what can you tell me? Because I'm desperate here. I can't, I can't understand what's going on. And she said, go to these people. This is where you can find them. And um, pardon my French, but she says they fucking unbelievable. I'm sorry, I have to say this. No, that's but okay. she, yeah. Yeah. So that's what she said to me. And that's what I've done. The so that, next... that was, she was what brought you to Cora Romana then? Yes. Yeah, yes. Because she actually has done the program. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, but she was, she said to me that the concept and, and the principle behind it, it's quite very interesting. And, um, and so I thought, well, 
I read all about what's out there, may as well try this one. And it made a lot of sense because it just explained everything that I've been going through, the fact that uh, I cannot shed the weight. And if anything, if I eat less, my body actually holds on to more. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so it explained a lot to me. And, um, and I, was already, I, I already bought the idea because it did make sense. Okay. Um, if, you, if you have a problem and you search for a solution for a long, long time and you see that there's nothing out there that helps, I think you're stupid not to, not to um, sort of switch from sure. the, the general thinking about weight and about weight issues. Mm -hmm. So um, I had the chance and I took it. Good, good. Well, I'm delighted you did. Um, now, Me too. Uh, you, um, what, were you hungry while you were on Kura Romana? No. Okay. No. Um, First couple of days were a bit more uh, difficult because I think my body was on a time, mm -hmm. on a timer. Mm -hmm. So in the morning was asking, in the afternoon was asking, and, and it was asking for certain things at certain times. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it's all about the body clock. Mm -hmm nothing else i never felt i never felt hungry okay what changes did you notice both physically uh, and also in a what shall i say in an inner way in an emotional or spiritual uh level um physically um i was something very odd because i read about the fat that moves uh, but um when I was dieting and uh, so many years of exercising and dieting, I actually had skin on my ribs mm -hmm. and I had barely any meat or any fat. Um, all my fat was around my arms, my legs, and um, I also had uh, bloating. Mm -hmm. But uh, my ribs were really, I, I'm, it, my torso is very, very tiny mm -hmm. and uh, you could see uh, the bones. Um, my ribs, and so when um, on Cora Romana, my um, my ribs have started to pad. So I actually have a nice. I'm not fat over my ribs, but I do have a nice female shape. Pose. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, my arms, I must admit, have gone down a lot slower, but my legs, I never thought I'll have legs that slim, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever. My legs have gone like... <sighs> I'm so pleased for you. Seriously. I'm so pleased. Um, did you notice any uh, difference in your attitude towards yourself, Lydia? Yeah, I no longer hated um, my body because, uh, and I... I, I I'm working more with it now than I was before. I am so much more in tune with what's going on. Before, I, I just didn't know why things were happening to me, where the reaction from, what did I eat, what did I do, what did I not do, what did I not eat? I, I never knew. But now, if, if I, uh, for example, um, even posture, if I don't sit properly, I feel it. It's great um, to have that awareness of the body. I think we live in yeah. a culture where uh, the body is largely ignored. You're supposed to live in your head. And one of the things that I love about Kura Romana is it helps people rediscover the body and the fact that, you know, I always say we are here in order to fully embody the nature of our essential being our spirit if you like you know that which makes Lydia unique from everybody else in the world and to live our own truth and in order to do that we have to be connected to the body and all of that stuff out there about slimming and all sorts of stuff disconnects people from their bodies yeah 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 that that is so true and that is one of the things that now I realize that I know myself more and I think I, I also pay, I think um, you would call this more of a spiritual experience. Uh, I would call it more of a mental um, experience because I'm actually more aware of what my thoughts are mm -hmm. and where they're going mm -hmm. and how they're moving and how they're changing mm -hmm. and how I got from this idea to that idea. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm, I think I'm a lot calmer and I can explain certain things whereas before I just 
I was so frustrated that people didn't understand what I was trying to say. Maybe I wasn't even saying it right. I, I don't know. But I think now I'm a little bit more coherent, perhaps. You know that is normal uh, by normal i don't mean that's what most people experience but when the body is in balance um uh, hormonally through the autonomic nervous system through the diencephalon which is the center of the weight control fat control appetite um, center in the in the body um, uh, the whole of reality shifts because you begin to experience i mean i have people say oh i just feel so alive and I am able to just be who I am but that is what normal human life is like and our bodies are so distorted by eating all these convenience foods um, by following other people's advice instead of listening to what our body tells us um, so I'm delighted to hear that yeah um, you know these things are actually um have come across to me um, quite a while after finishing Cora Romana because I think on Cora Romana a lot of change happens and if you try to understand everything that's changing you get lost and confused so you have to let your body do what it needs to be doing mm -hmm. and then try and think in retrospect where you've been and where you're at and how you got there mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to a project management uh, view where you plan where you go and then how you get there. Yeah, very, um, very important what you just said. I'm always saying to people that I work with on the mentored program, just get out of your head and listen to your body. Watch what your body is doing. And I think that's a major issue that people um, help to help people gain confidence that their body can be trusted. But it's impossible because we are literally poisoned and and our body reacts to so many stress um factors mm -hmm. whether it's food whether it's pollution whether it's noise whether it's people it, it tries to deal with a lot at one time mm -hmm. and and we we cannot we cannot listen to the signals and the body i think the body's lost its own way mm -hmm. it doesn't even know what signals to give anymore anyway um, I think that's so, a very good statement because when you're living on convenience foods and all of the junk that's in our environment, including electromagnetic uh, pollution, which in the last five years has just skyrocketed throughout the world, um, it, the body does become enormously confused. And uh, this is important. Oh, one thing I wanted to say to you, um, the reason why you, after finishing consolidation and everything, have continued to shed another, what was it, four? Four? Four kilograms, four kilos, yeah. yeah. Is simply that what Cura Romana does is put things back in order um, so that the body then finds its natural level. In other words, its natural shape, form, and weight. Um, you're not mm -hmm. doing this by, you know, oh, I need to count my calories and all that stuff. You try to do that and it doesn't work at all. But just by yeah. eating in the way that you learn that your body loves to eat, the foods that it thrives on, which you can eat as much as you want of, you never gain weight, and those that the body hates, which you just leave out. Um, and I've seen this happen a lot to people. Um, and they're just delighted because they're making no effort whatsoever to lose weight. And yet their weight yeah. comes to the place which is their natural weight and then and then just stabilizes. So Lydia, is there anything else you want to tell me about your Cora Romana experience? Um, yeah, I think um, for me, it's been um, uh, most, most of all, it's been answering my questions and proving to me that I'm not crazy uh -huh. because I work in a pharma company which produces, which develops drugs gas for gastrohepatic um, problems. Um, but I, I believe that, for example, uh, my daughter cannot live without insulin, so that's a, a necessary evil. Mm -hmm. However, um, in my household, we all avoid to take medication as, as much as possible. Um, and if I have a, a cough, I take um, a tea made out of crushed nuts mm -hmm. or something. So as much as possible, we avoid. However, as I said, working for this company, uh, these smart guys 
who know it all and how the body works, um, they say, well, calories in, calories out. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And um, I say, sorry, but I have to disagree. I have a degree and I have a PhD and I have a diploma and I have something else to tell you uh -huh. that I'm the specialist. Yeah. And I'm thinking, uh, surely I'm not that crazy. So for <laughs> me, for me, it's confirming that my my thoughts about um, about the current view of yeah. weight loss yeah. is completely mm -hmm. distorted. Is completely off of of the rack. Yeah. It, and so for me that's been the most extraordinary thing to learn prove to me that I, I'm not I'm not crazy. Um Lydia, let me just ask you, I just finished a new book. Uh it's called Healthy yeah. and Lean for Life. Have you seen it? Um I haven't had a oh, chance to download okay. it. No. That's fine. Um I think you will find it fascinating because you will learn where the distorted ideas that your quote scientists uh you know propound where it's come from um it it goes uh it's it's free by the way it's on carlromana.com and you can download it free and the reason why i've done that is because i was so passionate about people understanding that we have been misled we have been taught all sorts of things not just about weight loss and and what makes you fat but about the development of degenerative diseases and this is going back to the 50s uh and um one of the men that I actually knew personally, um, uh, who was on the cover of Time magazine and propounded all this theory about cholesterol and fat and dangerous and heart disease and you mustn't eat butter and all this nonsense. Um, and it's all in the book and it's very, very well uh, referenced. So if you want to take it further, you want to go back to the original research papers. But we have been taught stuff that is not true. And it's still, it, but, it, but it's good stuff for multinational food corporations. It's good stuff for big pharma who want to sell more drugs. Um, and uh, I think you should take a look at it. The issue here is that people either don't have the problem I have yet, mm -hmm. because it, it, there must be a trigger. I was eating a lot of carbs in my younger days. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my main my main base, I was a carb consumer, uh, not a meat or a protein um, consumer. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't understand why um, this happened to me, but that definitely was a trigger. When I came to England mm -hmm. from a size six, I went to a size 14. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so th that was my trigger. Mm -hmm. But you see people when they don't have a problem or when they don't recognize they have a problem, or when they don't want to do something about their problem um, in an innovative way, as you were, although this Cura Romana or, or Simon, um, uh, Simon's concept was on, on the market a long time ago, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, people are not prepared to do what it takes. Mm -hmm. And I think that, um, I think without, without reading the book, my main issue here is that your market is quite niche. Your market is for the people who recognize they have a problem yes. and they are they 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 are prepared to um, to take a non conventional way mm -hmm. of repairing a, a system. Mm -hmm. um, until then, um, it falls on deaf ears. Mm -hmm. um, oh. And I think, um, but um, I mean, for me, um, I, I was, uh, I, I couldn't believe that years and years and years and years of research and I never come across yeah. the concept. It's, it's well hidden. Yeah. Well, um, thank so, you very much for helping to make it a little bit less well hidden, Lydia. I'm really grateful <laughs> for your... Hope for your uh, conversation with me and uh, I hope it will help others understand as well. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>